This is Andre Ward, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. They see him down there. Okay. Dante's Boxing Nation, boxingtalk.com. And I'm over here with my man, Deontay Water. What's going on, man? What's up, baby? Beautiful day. You're around beautiful people, man. You can't get no better than this. I heard that. Now, a lot of people say, man, you, 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 got, you took a big gamble to take this fight right before you already have a championship fight lined up. What do you think about that? What made you take a gamble like that, so well, close to a championship fight? Well, what really made me take take the gamble is, you know, I'm I'm you I'm always cons good when I'm consistent in fight. You know, this this uh, this right here is my second fight of the year. Usually, I have my maybe four I'm going on my fifth fight this year. Uh -huh. And um, you know, I was just uh, I was getting homesick from the ring, man. I, I wanted to get back in, especially them keeping me um, Berman, you know, them camp keeping me waiting this long. You know, um, I'm ready to go. You know, I've been ready to go since yesterday. So, you know, uh, um, you know, a lot of my people didn't want me to do it, but um, I, I wanted to do it for me because, you know, I know once I'm, when, I, when I'm active, I'm always my best. So it's, it's going to work out perfectly because this camp is, is based around uh, uh, um, Stavern and, and when we go back home, we're going to get in our official camp to be based. So basically what I'm trying to say is it's two camps for them. And uh, we, we, we're just going to be ready because I'm going to go get my belt you know, and uh, it's gonna come home to daddy, to the, to the real American heavyweight champ of the world. I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> now, what do you think about Berman Stavern? If you could describe his style or anything, what would you think? What would you say about his style? I don't know. I mean, I, I, you know, I think the guy's slow. You know, he got slow feet. Um, he keeps his hand down. You know, and uh, and, and for a tall fighter, that's that's tailor made for, for for a taller fighter. You know, uh, you know, I'm happy for him. I'm still happy for him for been the first Haitian. You know, anything that's dealing with history, man, I'm happy for anybody that that, that make history. You know, so uh, but all things come to an end and um and his his reign finna come to an end, you know. Now I'm more up on scene. This is destiny for me. You know, God has destined me to do this, man. Uh, ever since I started, you know, so um now my, my quest is lies with him and um uh, I gotta fulfill destiny, you know, so and this this was uh, this is gonna be a great fight overall for all the fans around and, and for boxing period, you know. So um, I'm just ready. I've been I've been ready a long time, long time. And you say you're ready, but you got a whole bunch of first round knockouts, so you're gonna be ready for a fight that has to go 12 rounds or whatever the case may be, so right? They can they can change the rules and go back to 15. They want to, you know. It, it won't be that. You know, a lot of people always uh, wonder um, can he go past four rounds and stuff like that. And I I kind of find disrespectful for anybody to question me. You know. Uh, of, can I go past four? I'm an elite athlete. You know, four rounds, nothing. You know, going past four rounds, that's nothing. We do an hour, hour and a half of sparring in the gym. That's, you know, I, I love, I love the fight. I love to do this. I love getting in the ring. So my stamina, you know, you will find that I have one of the, the best stamina, being in shape, every, whatever, one of the best in the business. That's what we work on. You know, um, I feel everything, all the hard work is done in the gym. Yeah. So when it's time to fight, that's the fun part. Yeah. You know, that's the part that you don't want to quit. You don't want to stop. You don't want to. You don't want to get tired of doing. So that's me. But you know, but we we'll, we'll find out. You know, talk is cheap. We all know that. We all go say good things about us and the bad thing about the opponents, and that's how it goes. Yeah. You know? yeah. But um, come that night of the fight, we, we all see. You know. Yeah. And you got the big right hand. A lot of people feel, they feel you rely on that right hand. Right. People wondering what's gonna happen when somebody get past that right hand. Can you deal with the inside work? Just in case Bermin go on the inside. Oh my goodness, man, we got we got so much stuff that uh, that haven't been displayed, you know. But uh, whatever fool, I pity the fool that gets in there. You know, we'll, we'll show them some good. We got a lot of great things um, for me. You know, that's that's one of the things about you know. I, every time I leave the ring, I always leave a question mark behind me. It's bad for the fans, but good for my next opponent because they don't know how to train for me. You know, that many people because I finish majority of my my opponents off with the right hand automatic assume oh he just got her hand yeah but, you yeah. know but hey that's good like i said it keeps me smiling because when you know the truth you can live with the truth you can go to sleep i sleep good at night i train good and anything any any other criticism that comes to me i sleep good because when you know the truth anything else won't hurt you when you know the truth so you know but it, it's all good though you know i want people to keep wanting one thing my father always told me um, and he told me it was a life value lesson. He told me always keep people off balance about you. And that's what I do. I keep people off balance about me. I keep them thinking 
um, something that they, they 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 don't know what they're talking about, you know. Uh, so it's always good for me, man. It sucks for them, but hey, keep watching boxing, keep tuning in to Deontay Wilder fights, and um, we'll see what I reveal come that title fight. You know, this fight right here, I'm not looking past it. Jason. Jason definitely comes to fight each and every time. I'm definitely not put, looking past him. He's a risk because he's a heavyweight with 10 ounce gloves on, and, and I'm human and I can be knocked out as well too. So I'm not taking him lightly, but. My eyes is on the prize, and that's the WBC belt, baby, to be uh, a world champion. And um, I can't see nothing, nothing stopping me from that. Okay, I hear you. And just, and just one last thing, I just want to let you know, because I interviewed Holyfield, and he said ain't nobody beating Deontay Wilder. What what you think about that, you man? know what to say. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Holyfield, real deal, baby. You know, from one champ to the next, man. You know, I already got the blessing from the champ, and many other champions as well, too. So, man, when the, when the, champs, when the champs see greatness, they know what to say. They know what it is, huh? <laughs> All right, man. Good luck, man. Deontay Wilder, y'all.